I have this table block, which allows me to create rows, read rows, update rows and delete rows, which is great. But it also allows me to filter and sort and search. Let's see how. Sorting is done pretty much as you'd expect. By clicking on the column headings, I'm able to sort by that column in ascending or descending order. Search is done through this table block by using the search fields. We select which fields we want to allow people to search on. These are distinct and exclusive searches. So we search for a term within a given field. So I can add a search field for description. And then when I preview this, I can search for grooming which will find me the appointments that are grooming and what dates they are and what pets they involve. I can also look for various breeds. It isn't immediately visible in my table because it's a related field. So if I search now for Husky, I can see that Oscar is having a checkup and Oscar is a Husky. Now I can't see that in my table at the moment. That's available in my data block. I can see Husky is Oscar. So that is true. So I can sort by clicking on the headings. I can search and with given fields, I can add in. I can also add filters. So I can set a filter and I can say where the date is more than or less than, well, today. So I'll do lightning bolt, I'll scroll down, I'll find date and I'll save. So this is the only appointment in the future is great. I equally could have it set for the only appointments are equal to today. So it's only going to show me today's appointments or not equal to today. So only the appointments that didn't happen today. So by combining the ability to filter, search and sort, our users can use the data within our tables to achieve their goals quickly and efficiently.